greetings from little Italy and this is a rather treasured time of year it's always a good day to visit Mulberry Street and enjoy a little Italy of I love New York but this is a special weekend it's the last weekend of summer and it is the feast of San Gennaro which means it's time for a walk down Mulberry Street. And it looks as if it's already different than last year's experience. Closest subway would be for me today was the Canal Street subway as I had left Coney Island, Brooklyn. And on my way back, I can now smell the sweet powder of cannolis. Now, when I say that this is already different than last year's, there was almost no one here. Uh, there was still an event. The official church. Ah, and this is your this is your photo op. If you're looking for your selfie station, here we are. San Gennaro. Now the magic behind the story of San Gennaro. Quick modified version would be that the blood of San Gennaro was able to reappear. Now, of course, there are other versions and information connected to the story. Something along the lines of thrown to wild animals and they rejected taking San Gennaro as a meal. Uh, but afterwards, the blood of San Gennaro was able to reappear. And so are the people. The people are able to reappear. So last year, very easy to walk down Mulberry Street. The year before that, I would not recommend bringing a stroller. I mean, you could not walk. It was really that crowded. And if someone were to push you and not know that you had a stroller in front of you, they really could not see. So if you think this is crowded, it has been significantly more crowded. Now, I just left the beach. 82 degrees in I Love New York today. The beach was not particularly crowded. I went to Coney Island and Brighton Beach, walked along the boardwalk. Everyone came to the beautiful lights of Mulberry Street. Now, the great thing about this is if you are not here, all of this food is always here, not on the street. It's not set up in festival format. And there may be some specialty meals that are made for the festival. But this is a place to come for an Italian dinner all year, all year round. And you'll see the poster of San Gennaro hung up inside. So if you're not here today or you don't like crowds and you would like to be here... You could still come to Mulberry Street. Also, Hester Street. It's not just one block. I like Mulberry Street. It's the main street off of Canal. Now, the favorite thing that I enjoyed uh, was coming here with my friends, Fran, Kelly, and Clover, and having fried Oreos. But the year that I came without Fran, <laughs> Kelly, and Clover, I enjoyed the concerts. Uh, there was a truck that was here with these Italian singers one after another. I just took a seat and enjoyed the music. Now, how is this as compared to actual Italia? There is no comparison, but I'm not dissing one over the other. I really enjoyed traveling actual Italia, but found very, small amount of similarities to 
Little Italy, I love New York. And that's a great thing because everyone lives in New York. And we blend, we blend, we blend. Uh, so the language that is spoken is slightly different. You might pick up some different spices here in New York, which will give the food a different taste. Um, I highly recommend experiencing both. I would not say one is better. I would not even say that one is legit and the other is not. This is authentically New York. And the slogan is true. I love New York, so I love the way that it has turned out. But I gotta say, being in Italia, seeing Venezia, seeing Florence, seeing Roma, um, coming from New York, I was like, wow, that's really, really different. And it was enjoyable. That did not discount what's happening here, though. What is happening here if you're seeing this? It looks just like a mob of people. They have outdoor dining next to outdoor dining next to outdoor dining with about a million people walking the street trying to figure out where to dine. There are carnivals, Ferris wheel, some frozen beverages, a lot of happy people. I've never seen anyone sort of uh, agitated while they are here. It seems as if when you come to an event like this, it is indeed for fun. We're going to try the other way. The other way. Looked like cigar shopping was pretty tight. So is cigar rolling. Got to say, I um, reminds me a bit of Lancaster. Not to see someone rolling cigars, but that is where I saw the tobacco leaves being dried. Didn't actually see that in anywhere in Italia. And the reason why I am saying Italia, that's the actual name. There is no such place called Italy. The real name is Italia. Many people do pronounce it here, Italy. and. The correct pronunciation, if you are here, would actually be Little Italy, due to the spelling. It's not spelled with the Italian spelling. So I am in Little Italy, celebrating Italia. And in the spirit of blended New York, Cisco's Latin Fusion. Ah, uh, the pastries. Try to pick your favorite. Should you have chocolate? Should you have the standard? Ah. Uh, you know, on an 81 degree night in New York, thinking about having hot pastries, it still works. They were quite alluring. And there is the Empire State Building at the end of the block. We're walking actually towards Washington Square Park. Canal Street is behind me, trying to figure out just the position. It looks like I'm just in the same mob of people heading towards Washington Square Park and Canal Street is behind me. And it looks like I see something really nice and it's called Cannoli World. Vinny's Nut House. Now, I don't think Vinny's Nut House has a restaurant here. So that is part of the joy of being here on feast day. Some vendors will come. And there's more than one Feast of San Gennaro. I know Patchog, Long Island has one. There's definitely one out east. I know my sister had attended one in the, I believe it was the Hamptons area. And this is the carnival, the carnival section. The home of the cannoli king, best cannoli in little Italy. All right, here is your carnival. And that Ferris wheel is rather famous. It's actually uh, used to promote the film that I was uh, honored to be a part of called Happy Trans Girl Like Me. That is in the promo shot for the movie. 
Now, I did just leave, like I said earlier. Ah, oh, here we go. I mentioned there were stages with performers. That is actually my favorite area. That truck, <laughs> that truck right there. And they've got, they've got chairs set up. So there actually is a place to uh, have some peace and solace. Actually, let's head in that direction. Because that may be where, and I, you know, it might be nice to turn off of Mulberry. Not that I'm not enjoying Mulberry. I'm going to actually walk more of it this evening. But for those of you who are viewing from home that not, may not make it to I love New York, it does extend on the side streets and it's a little quieter. There is actually a gelato on the street, not on the sidewalk, but vendors selling on the street. But there is a gelato shop that is here all year round as well as a Christmas tree shop that is here all year round. The origins are traced very closely to Roma. Actually, speaking of holidays, the holiday of Valentine's Day also traced back to Italia. And here it is. This is my favorite spot to take a seat and listen to the performers here. At the 95th annual feast of San Gennaro and ever beautiful. I love New York. Now I'm gonna grab a seat and wait for the next concert. Till next time. Happy end of summer. Oh, one more thing. The date, the big date in Naples, Italia would actually be the 19th. So this is the eve of the big celebration that would be taking place in Europa. That would be on the 19th as the actual feast day. I'm going to grab one of these chairs till next time. Much love from Mulberry Street and the Feast of San Gennaro. Till next time. <laughs>